Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and I'm down in my radio room, which I should be when I'm testing radios and antennas, but um, no air conditioning down here except a wall shaker, and that's too noisy. So, it's a little warm. It's um, 82 degrees down here, so much for trivia, and I'm going to test, or try to test, the K... Dash 480 antenna loop system versus my new new HDFY antenna system. Both of these were supplied to me by Guzizu. And right now I'm on the, let me check again. Yep, I'm on the external K 480. Antenna. Let me show you what that one is. I've showed you these before. It's not that one. <laughs> it's this one. And it comes with this nice amplifier filter. And I've got it. So I got shortwave selected. And this is $130. I've got it outside. It's an outside antenna. And it's up about 15 feet in the air. As opposed to this one, my new one, this one, this is an indoor antenna. You can use it outside, but you can't leave it outside because these components are not sealed. So they will get water damage. It's $50. Now, those are the two antennas I'm going to test this morning. It's um, 5.45 in the morning. And we're going to give it a try right here. Like I say, right now, I've got the outside antenna. So it has the advantage of being outside. Now I'm going to flip to the inside antenna. Here we go. Noise level goes up. And the signal level stays about the same, but the noise level goes up. Now let's see what happens. I've got the antenna hanging in my radio room. Let's see what happens when I rotate it. I can rotate it since it's just hanging. And there, right right about there, it brings the noise level down. Signal is about the same. And that was with the antenna perpendicular to all my electronics, which most of it is off. I have the computer on, I have monitor on, I have a LED light on, and um, a couple other things, plus the power supplies for the two amplifiers to the two antennas. So it is directional, it is inside. Now, let's scan the band and see how it does. And I will change the scan configuration. I'm using my RSPDX SDR and let's change the hold time to 15 seconds, not 515 seconds, 15 seconds so I can pause it and switch antennas. Okay, we're going to start. Right now I'm on the now I'm back to the outside antenna. All right, I was on the inside. Here we go. Okay, there's WWV. I'll pause. Outside antenna. Very good signal. Inside. There it's got the noise, so let me rotate it. Right there's best. Still not as good as outside. Okay. And the problem is, the problem is, it's hanging in my radio room, so um, it, it wants to rotate on its own. And it doesn't want to go back to what so far looks like the optimum position. Now, the outside antenna 
is number one, it's outside. Number two is 15 feet in the air. And I can't rotate it unless I go outside and physically rotate it. And it's in the position that this antenna likes the best, which is, um, uh, see how can I describe it? The plane of the loop is north-south. That seems to be the best um, direction I found when I was putting that antenna up. All right, let's do a little more scanning. I'm on the, back to the outside antenna. I'll continue the scan. There's data. The noise level overall is way down. I don't know what the um, A index is for the solar indices. But, okay. Yeah, it's music. You can't stay there. Go, go, go. Scan. Oh, geez, mute. Oh, gosh. Can't have music. No, more music. Wish I had a filter would filter out music. Okay, it's going to start to scan again here. So he was getting 5.890. Pretty good. Okay, there we go. 5935. Uh, let me look that up real quick because my memory is no good. That's not what we want to look at. We want to look at uh, here. Now I forgot what it was. <laughs> oh, music, oh, blah, 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 music, 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 kill music, music, music. Oh, music drives me nuts. <clears throat> you can't record any kind of music, even in from foreign language. Oh, okay, I'll hold on there. Let's pause. That sounds like a clock signal, maybe out of Canada. I mean, it, I think it's a little. Oh, no, that's weather data. That's weather data, probably out of New Orleans. Okay, let's switch antennas. That's a good source of signal. Outside antenna. Inside. I have to rotate it. There's optimum. Barely. There we go. I'll let go of the antenna. It'll rotate. Yeah. Outside. So in general, that's much stronger. Now, of course, <clears throat> excuse me, the K-480 has um, the advantage because it's outside, <clears throat> excuse me, and 15 feet in the air. So it has that advantage. Okay, let's scan a little more. We're on the outside antenna. And as you can see, the signal strengths are varying. There's more data. All right, get to a station <laughs> without music. Missed that one. See, I could change the squelch when I'm on this antenna, but then it would be too low for the end. Well, I guess since I'm scanning on this antenna, let me change the squelch. I'm missing a lot of signals. <clears throat> Whoa. Oh, 
get off that signal. I'll mute it anyway. Some kind of data. Mute. I don't want you. I don't want you right now. Move on. See, I've got to delay it 15 seconds now, so it takes longer for it to move on. And it keeps getting that massive data. I don't know what that signal is, boys. Strong and wide. Oh my gosh. That's what I get for turning the squelch down. Can you see if I can get China. It would stop on China Radio? No, it won't. Nope, the right path. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what that is, but it, it's got a good signal. So, uh, okay, look at this, and then I'm going to switch. No, I forgot to pause. Pause. Okay, that's a strong. Oh, music. Oh, oh mute. Oh, gosh. I'm going to get a hit for sure. Oh, it's music. Okay, move on. Did I pause it? Okay. More music. God. Yes. They probably won't let me uh, release this video because it's got so much music in it. Like I say, even if it's for music, they don't want you to record it. There's more data. Okay, I'm going to use this because it's not music. So there it is. Uh, good signal. Outside antenna. Inside. No signal. I'll rotate it. There it comes. Uh, right about there is optimal. Alright. That's enough scanning. Uh, mute. So I can talk. So it's pretty obvious, which I knew that going into this test, that the, let me go back to the website, that the outside antenna is much better. Now, is it much better or is it just because it's outside and 15 feet in the air? I would like to do a test where I take the inside antenna outside. I've got 20 foot of, I think 23 feet of cable that they supplied between, that goes between the antenna and the amplifier. So I got plenty of cable. What I need to do is figure out a way that I can temporarily mount it outside. Probably not up, up in the air, probably just maybe at um, maybe six feet. And uh, I'll position it exactly, not exactly, but close to the way the other antenna is positioned. The other antenna is positioned um, where the plane of the antenna is north and south. And this indoor antenna, when I rotate it, is best reception, lowest noise is in that same orientation. So for... $50, this is a pretty good antenna. If you want to go full bore, this is the antenna to get. You can leave it outside. You can mount it up on a pole. You get this nice antenna amplifier uh, filter. It, it filters uh, for the various bands, medium wave, short wave air, FM, U ultraviolet, uh, oh, yeah, you, whatever, you see it, and six meters. And it's got a symbol that I don't understand. It's in Chinese. I don't know what that's for. Anyway, let me go back here just briefly. So that's, if I could draw any conclusion from this limited testing is that the HDFY antenna at $50 is a pretty good loop antenna, but you can't leave it outside. 
the better antenna, more expensive, is the K-480. That's it. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. It tells me that I'm not wasting your time. Boy, sometimes I think I'm wasting your time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.